Hey guys, in this short video, I'm going to discuss how we can deploy our AX customizations from one place to another place using XPO. So what is a XPO? XPO is a export file of any elements uh, used in AX like forms, classes, or tables, or extended data types, enums. Uh, all the reports all the elements so you can uh, export a file of a single element or just group them in a in a project uh, and export that project and uh, move all those elements from one place to another so what I'm doing right now is uh, grouping my different elements into the right heads uh, like tables in the table and form in the forms base enums in base enum group so what I'm going to do I'm going to export this project just right click the project and you will see the export button click the export button and you will see this window there you have the name of the export file so let's change this name underscore demo and after that you you just have to press OK so file will be exported in the selected place so i'm going to change some of the elements which are here so it will be different uh, from the xpo once we will import it few things uh, anybody who is deploying the code should know that uh, don't blindly import any xpo i would suggest that you should compare all the elements of an xpo and just import that change which you want to import and you have just customized on your development server so uh, if you don't compare uh, an element and see what is the code difference uh, there might be some some code which is there on the server and you don't have on your XPO so if you import that XPO blindly or just without comparing it you might end up uh, like deleting all that code which is not in on the XPO so that could be a huge loss depending on the code so you need to import now click on import button click on browse look for your uh, export file here is our export file demo so now you need to click on show details so it will show you how many elements this xpo have and what are those elements so you can see them individually they are in different heads you can compare them one by one so let's start comparing them one by one so you can see the changes uh, in red and blue Blue means it's in the XPO and red, red means it's in the user layer. So you need to decide what to keep and what to not. So let's compare the next table. So once you will compare it, there is a blue and red symbol, which means there are some changes. So we can directly import changes from here by clicking this button. So once once we clicked it uh, now those changes are made so we need to go to the table and just save it let's compare the next element and that is enum so compare it and you will see there is one change and this is hold which we added in the in the current code and it's not in the xpo so exclude it by clicking this black arrow so see it's changed let's compare the other elements there should be no change in this element so no differences are found so let's compare the next one should be no differences yes and let's compare the form form should have one difference and that is the code we added so not only this code we added this uh, method also so this init, ma init method was not there 
before so let's exclude it by clicking this black arrow so once we we are done with it you can see that uh, form is changed so let's save the form now we can see our changes in the table uh, this field have no more mandatory yes so that enum there is no hold enum element that's good and there is no init method so there you go with the deployment that's done thank you for watching leave your suggestions in the comments